More bison. What else is out there? Like down on the ground over to the right. Just rock? Mm hmm. Actually got air after watching you play it. It's an amazing game. Yeah. I think so too. It was. It wasn't necessarily anything special, truly special, but in. In the genre of things, kind of like Journey, it was pretty good. Now that looks like the We're tower. We're going that direction. Do you want to go back to that large tower again? Yeah. Wait, is that the legendary bison? <gasps> That's the legendary bison. Well, I guess I'm switching. He can probably charge through the desert. And you can ram stuff. I can also eat sand. Oh no. Yum sand. Whoa. The camera shake. Out of my way, world. Yep. Somebody put effort into stacking those rocks. And I deny them. What was that other game we played recently where you could kind of turn into a bird? Vane! There we go. Oh, yeah. The moment we hit the desert, I'm like, oh, yeah, Vane! I forgot that existed. That was where you turned to the crow. Yeah. That was another one of these games. Oh, we can actually get in there. That's well, fine. I'll probably... I'll live without the bison. Oh. There we go. Buffalo chains. Mm. Massive chains. Sturdy enough to even keep a buffalo in check. Well, he's just waiting for me. Cool. Odd mountain. That looks like that another one. palace. Was there anything else out in the desert? Or is it just a swirling sandstorm? I think currently just swirling sandstorm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's 100% sandstorm. I think I can see the legendary parrot out there. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. No. No, not in that mix. I think the reason why the buffalo stayed was this is his area. Yeah. Whereas the parrot was from the previous one. That's probably okay in the end. The air let you shapeshift into a bird as well. Yeah, air definitely got the, like, shapeshifting and the movement. Why don't you knock some more of these down? Oh, also clipping. Whoops. Get out of here. I just didn't know if you knocked a ton of these down if you would get an achievement. Wonder! I can't. <laughs> Sending the buffalo off the... That was an old tactic that... Oh, yeah. Native American tribes would use to get meat at times. Crimes against nature. Heard them off a canyon. Whoa. I care not for your walls! Or your sandstorms. I am incandescent. And mighty. Oh, there's that. But first, mushroom. Oh. Do you need something else to get in there? An armadillo? Uh, no, there's just an alternate different... entrance. Mm hmm. There's something else around the corner. Maybe? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, that was just a mushroom spot. Here's the question. Is the bison still here? Mm hmm It waits. It sleeps. Oh, right. What bison buttons do we have? So we have sleepy bison. Oh, and he does look sleepy. <laughs> Grazing. That's the eat button. Okay. Oh, not, uh, not off that dune. At the, where do we... How do we descend... Well, the oasis is a start. Oh, we need 
We need something else. Mm hmm Goodbye, bison. Oh. We need something small. But can they paddle? I thought they couldn't go in water. No, they can. Yeah, remember? Okay. We had the really silly swimming animation for mm -hmm. a while. No, that's true. He'll be able to get through. Oh, this piano music is super good. Mm -hmm. Fancy cloth. Fancy cloth from whom? Oh! <laughs> that's a fancy scarf. It's really long, though. Might be a little impractical. <laughs> it's the journey cloth. Yep. I, I like the references. They're they're tasteful and they know what's similar. Yeah, that's a fun little reference. I like them. Um, jeez. You know, I'm, I'm really starting to remember all of the different pseudo-walking simulator games playing this one. Mm -hmm. We really have played a lot of them, because there was that other one with the Monster Girl on uh, Sea of Solitude recently. Oh, yeah. Oh, fish. Fish. Yeah, that's actually, that's what we need. Not the poor Trundle, Trundle bus. Because it's time for this fish to go on a journey. There are so many forking paths. Next year we should find a water park in the area. Mm -hmm. See if we can find one with like a good lazy river. Unlike this river, which is <laughs> far from lazy. Now this is akin to a water slide. This this river is terminal. Oh. Look how lively the piano music is here. It's very peaceful. Oh. There was something underwater. One of the mushrooms. But yeah, I don't know. I, it's just kind of interesting how many of these different uh, walking simulator kind of storytelling games we've played recently, even. Like, within the last year. Well, I very much enjoy narrative games, and this, this is so much more enjoyable because of the animal shape-shifting and the aesthetic of everything. Yeah, I think I would have checked out if we were just a person walking around. Ooh, what happened Nothing's here? Graves. This is horrible. There must be hundreds of bodies. Maybe thousands. Are these Machiruku? What happened here? Tortoises. Oh, sweet. Time to go nowhere fast. Galapagos tortoises. Maximum speed. <laughs> turtle power. <laughs> I have no turtle powers. Uh oh. This is a travesty. Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh. Get comfortable. We're going to be here for a while get to the glass barrier eventually. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Get him go. 
Now the question is, where's the the legendary turtle? Mm. I question whether or not there is one. <laughs> Watch. Oh shit! He's beating me. <laughs> no, he got Gotta stalled. Got him off. <laughs> Get out of my way, Larry. Vroom, vroom, this <laughs> turtle's got wheels. <laughs> Punch the nitrous. He seems larger than you. Oh, shoot. Or is he exactly You're the same saying size? I'm the inferior tortoise? <laughs> show you, I'll show everyone. I am the tortoise that motorboats. You can walk on water, too. I can walk on water. I can fly. <laughs> Okay, now you're actually dipping into the water. I could walk on water, but only with the front two feet. After a certain point, my massive girth starts weighing me down. Which begs the question, can a tortoise swim, or is this all shallow enough? You don't have to worry about it. Yep. Oh. Well. Turtle. Turtle power. Oh, he even curls his tail around. That's a cute turtle. All right, well, ready to leave the turtle so we yeah. can adventure about? Yeah. Oh, in my presence, he's like, nope. Nope. Don't wanna. Well, don't go through there yet. I want to see the rest of this oasis. I guess. I'm just kind of hungry, and I'm like, well, we can probably beat this one night. No, that's true. We can beat it. But I want to... Wait, hold on. Time for fish crimes. Guess we should try and get behind that barrier. Oh, wait. Are there more burial grounds down there? Yeah. Mmm. Tons. And more exposed bones. You ever broken a barrier with a fish? <laughs> Cause I'm gonna. Oh, can you make it into the next pond? Yep. I just downright transplanted that fish. Sup, wombat? Didn't expect you'd <gasps> see a fish go elephants? across country like this. Look at all the elephants. Did you? Did you? Wander, elephants. Sup, elephants? This fish is coming for your soul. Well, now that fish just gets to live here. As the soul fish. It's interesting. They're not modeled exactly I after like elephants. I like how all my buttons are drink. But, Wander, can you look at its head? They're not yeah. exactly modeled after elephants. Yeah, the they've got way too much everything. of a nasal bone. A normal elephant faces... And their don't ears don't... Go underneath the chin like that. Yeah, they're they're approximately elephants. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I like them. They look fine. Well, it reminds me of how the other fish. They look almost to be. look more regal than regular elephants. Oh, I know. They're not as fat either. Like they, this they is have actually a, a sloped. Yeah. Back. This and... is actually a creature that could. I don't know. Question. Interesting. I got a couple of context moves. But yeah, th this is an elephant that could actually traverse some distance quickly. Can you look around just to see if there's anything of interest? What's up there? Not elephant stuff, that's for certain. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I wonder why all of these creatures are approximate, whether... They just decided to kind of make their it's own It's a variants. stylization. A stylization. Or if they're intentionally trying to be like, oh, it's not quite an elephant. And here's the question, Shell. Mm -hmm. How many of these elephants have you checked for dongs yet? Wonder, I haven't checked any of them. Okay, that's good. For those of you who don't know, when we went to the Portland Zoo... It wasn't just when we went to the zoo. You were talking about that elephant dong beforehand. No! And then we get there, and you're like, look, look, everybody. 
no, no, elephant no. penis. No, 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 no. So the first time we go to the Portland Zoo, I notice that something is dangling almost all the way to the ground that isn't a trunk on one of the elephants. Excuse me, that is one hell of a trunk. And I, I pointed it out to Wander going, wait, is that is that what I think it is? And then I had to look it up online because I was curious. Like, d does it, is it really that retractable? And apparently it is. Like, a lot of animals, they're, you know, their phallus or whatever is, 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 <laughs> is retractable. But with elephants, it's just immensely Tremendous. long. So One might almost call it trunk-like. So we go with our friends back to the Portland Zoo, and I say, yeah, you know, I wonder if if he'll put it out again or something. And sure enough, he's, I, I don't know if it was, he was trying to scare off one of the females from one of the feeders or something, but it was just on full display. I think he was and just dangling. having a good time. <laughs> well, the, the zoo was celebrating because one of the females had gotten pregnant again. So, well... I mean, they're they're they definitely got a virile male elephant. Let's just put it that way. But yeah, so Shell was sitting there on the bridge. She's like, "Look, there it is!" And we all look <laughs> over, and it's like, "Ah, uh, Shell, we have a nine-year-old with us." And she's like, "Oh shoot!" Wait, no, she did not hear. Yeah, she did not hear. Be but you weren't paying but attention at the time. They were very far away. Oh no, Stampede! Oh no. A sandstorm. Wolf, run! This is cool. Mm-hmm. I'm getting Lion King vibes from this. Oh wait, what can you what oh no no, no never mind. The sound effect for this is a little bad. Can you possess one of those? There we go. Now you can run with the herd. And not get completely skunked. Out of my way! <laughs> Now, I notice these have kind of almost like a shell-like pelt. Oh, yeah, definitely. And if you notice the skulls that were in the antechamber, they had more of a, I would say, almost rodent-like shape to the skull. As opposed to having the large muzzle and such of a bison, the, the orbits for the eyes and everything were out of, they were in, situated in the wrong spot and the cranium was a completely different shape. And then, you know, the horn placement. So they're like bison, they're like buffaloes, but oh man, there's falling rocks. This got concerning. Did you make it or did you? You made it. I am the only bison. Well, peace. He doesn't seem to care. But, yeah, he looks like a, a bison here, except his muzzle is very tapered. Where's the grass? <laughs> All I see is shrubs. Sad. Goodbye, weird fox demon. Wow, things changed biomes in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're lying in wait. Look at these buildings. The Machiruku truly were master builders. Oh. I never would have thought I'd set foot in an actual Machiruku city. Well, you're technically not setting foot. These buildings are massive. 
I always wondered what happened to the Machiruku. Wait, these were still up? I suppose they I guess were. they still look a little ruined, but... Yep. They don't have a whole lot of hustle. Oh, another sleepy bison. Bunch of them. What do they seek in these ancient ruins? Wombats. <laughs> well, you might need one. Oh, shoot. Okay, to go back to uh, the thing I was kind of talking about in the beginning. So, obviously, if, uh, if Wolverine had been the wombat, he would have been fatter, rounder, pooped more. He wouldn't have had claws. Yeah, definitely wouldn't have had much for claws. Would have been even hairier. <laughs> <laughs> and probably not super useful on any of the teams he was on. What other pseudo rodenty things would could he be? Like I want to I want to workshop well, some Well, actually, I would rather workshop other heroes if you changed up what they were. So Cyclops. Okay, Triclops. <laughs> I mean, th at that point, he would just have a third eye, and exactly. that would be a laser. So then he'd be clairvoyant. Mm -hmm. Which would definitely actually change some things pretty hard. Man, that would be a mixture of Cyclops and Jean Grey. They should they should clearly have a kid that's like that. <laughs> Their kid is just Triclops. <laughs> it's a kid with two regular eyes and the visor on the forehead. The laser eye sees both the, both the future and destruction. <laughs> Everybody thinks he's just cool because he's got it up, but no. Yeah, yeah because he has he a cool He just has headband. a creepy eye up there that kills people. <laughs> okay. Um. I mean. <laughs> oh, I got a bad one. What? Jean Blue. She has the power to control all denim. O okay. <laughs> I... Blue Jean. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see. The Beast? I mean. How about Colossus? What's the opposite of that? Short stack? Well, okay, what if. <laughs> oh, no, that's perfect. Short stack. What if Colossus was literal, though? What if instead of just being, you know, seven feet tall and made of metal, or at least had his flesh made of metal, he was. An actual giant. That'd oh, be a like rough 20 life. feet tall? Yeah, that'd Or be... every time he activates his power, he goes completely inert. He's invincible, hella heavy, but can't move. So he just attacks by, like, flinging himself at people and then freezing in place. Mm hmm. That's beside the point of this. Let's see where this goes. Uh oh. Is this where they have another confrontation? They got to you. No, but they're holding the soldiers back so you can escape. Oh. I know you say it's irrelevant, but we've got some walking ahead of us, so. Mm hmm. They were sure really any willing. Corpses behind. Yeah. But I'm assuming they died. Mm hmm. Yeah, they were. Willing to lay their lives down for her. I mean, she was their leader. Mm-hmm. What's that? Duck. Oh, duck. Duck. I actually think I need one. Yeah, she must have jumped. Mm-hmm. To go where, though? Down here. Oh, yeah, she was swimming there. How could she have held her breath this long, though? 
She probably surfaced. Mm-hmm. Wow. That was weird. I think we hit an air pocket. Yeah, so she probably surfaced here. Then went down here. What's above? Can we see what's above? Just more ruins? Yeah, looks like it. There's probably secrets everywhere. Oh, I'm sure. I just... We found the journey secret. I'm satisfied. <laughs> and it's also one of those where it's like... You know, I don't want this game to be the thing that keeps us up super late just so we can see the ending, but also get all the meaningless side collectibles. Mm-hmm. Well, who knows what they'll what they'll do. We'll have to see. Maybe. Oh, what's in here? Oh, uh, oh, a friendly cube! The companion cube. Looks like this could have been used for a multitude of things. Way down stuff? I'm stuff. <laughs> I find them endearing. So at this point they've referenced... Oh, go! 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 Oh, we should go back behind it, though. Yes, but as goat. And chisel. a chisel. Barely fine chisel, possibly for work on statues and such. And you see, look at these goats. Goats? I've never seen a goat with stripes. And a particular horn like Black that. Black like this? Mm-hmm. Whoa. I wonder if that's how goats actually work work themselves up. Wait, you're just stretching? Yeah. And yeah, look at their heads. Yeah, they don't look quite right. They almost have sheep faces. I mean, goats and sheep are quite closely related. Sorta. Mm-hmm. They almost look like a goat goat from uh X and Y. <laughs> We... It was amazing how when I had gone to the Grand Canyon, there was an outcropping of rock that was a good five or so feet off the ledge. Like, a, it was essentially a giant pillar. And about four goats had jumped over there and were sleeping under a tree. Oh. Is that a wolf pup? Is he stuck? <laughs> you always were good with animals, weren't you?
No. Seems you made a friend. What? Uh, are you? I'm a goat. I mean, you're a goat. I am a so. goat. What else did you expect? Oh wow, that's a statue. Half a statue. So apparently, I, I was looking up facts about mountain goats a while back, mm -hmm. and the crazy ones that just climb like whatever. Mm -hmm. Apparently, there's been like no reported deaths from them just climbing around. The only times I think they die while climbing around is as a result of eagles. When, yeah, predators are trying to get them. For a human. It can't have been easy to get through here. Where were you going anyway? But like, for how insane their climbing feats are, I guess they are so sure-footed they never fall. I mean, they have to be because to fall would mean death. Yeah. I just like I don't know, I've seen well. We've we've seen other animals make mistakes. We were at the whenever we go out to shop at this one plaza, there's a you know, a, a pet co or a pet smart there. And I like to go in there just to look at the guinea pigs and the the lizards and the ferrets and the mice and such. And there's this one pet store. All the animals really want to come up and see you. They they want to come up to the edge of the glass and say hello, essentially. The very mice were so cute. adorable today, weren't they? They were very cute. Because they, they were just all pooling together and coming up against the glass. But there was this pair of of small bearded dragons. Yeah, they were and climbing they the were, glass. They were trying to scuttle up the glass to get to us. And they kept falling over to the side because they would just slide to one side or the other and sometimes they'd slide on top of each other and then the one would like nudge the other off and then they try climbing against the glass again. It was cute. And I think the one had actually fallen sort of backwards on himself and almost slid off the side of his rock. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So definitely more clumsy than a goat. Yep. So, wonder if you tried Death Stranding yet. What would it be a game you'd like to try? I, if I play it, it'll be when it comes out on PC. But, like, that game is massively long. And I've been stuck on too many long games this year. So, like, I'm trying to keep things short and sweet and whatnot. But if I do play it, it'll be when it comes out on PC. Because the, uh, the PC publisher is going to be... Will just hand me a key. So I don't have to worry about, like... Spending 60-something bucks for a game that I'm not going to do more than, like, three hours on. Um, if I don't decide to finish it. And if I do, I've got med hacks, so I can just be like, I am Mountain Goat Man! And just climb up mountains with thousands of things on my back. Oh, there was a bridge here at one time. I cannot go. These people built even more ambitious than we did. It seems they weren't uh, quite able to finish it. What do you think happened? Nah, they probably had an insurrection or were wiped out by a plague. I'm pretty sure that the fate of this civilization mirrored their own. Anti gravity animals. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh my! The whole platforming while on falling objects business? This goat don't care. <laughs> Where what? will you be able to go from here? Oh, of course. You always get the light blue ones, Leave don't you? Leave that poor goat. 
Good. to its fate. Goodbye, goat. Good luck, goat. I don't believe in you. Ah, oh, it's because terrible. Because that would that that's impossible. They should have had a means for it to go to back to the floor, and work its way up. Wait, what is that? Oh, more goats. How did the goats get up here? They're freaking goats. Oh. Birds yeah. can't land. Look around at the very least. I... Mm. Over that bridge and through the barrier. Come on. Oh, I can stop, sort of. Transport system for stones. Probably another reference. Nope. No. Nope. That's just a pulley. M pulley. Must have been used for heavy loads. A reference to construction tools. <laughs> another fire. I thought they were hot on our tail. They what are. They doing? <gasps> the wolves! No! But you, your little friend. Oh, my my bird. Mm-hmm. Stole my bird from me. Oh well, time for goat. Yeah, looks like you have ramming powers now. Any other entryways? Oh. Why is well check? Can you go around the other side? Just to see? Well, it's just a pedestal for a statue. Yes, but more bash spots. I mean I guess. I wanna just deliberately break things for reasons. Return it to nature. Also, thank you, THX for the 17 month resub. Oh, goat. Is it THX or is it thanks? Because it didn't dawn on me until like a couple weeks ago that THX stands for thanks. Because I don't think I've seen anybody type out THX as thanks. In uh, well, the, I thought that it ever? was also a sound service thing. Yeah, it is. Like for television or movies. But like, I know, relatively, well, relatively early, internet chat room, THX was like, default thanks. And I don't think I've seen a single person use it as slang for thanks. Oh, oh, oh. The mega I found, goat. I found the goat lord. Oh, this is the antisocial one. Mm-hmm. It's THX as in the Lucasfilm thing. Figured yep. as much. That's why I guess I never processed it. Right, now we are gloriously incandescent. Time to leave this goat in yeah, was that an unfortunate and compromising location. There they go. Yeah, T it wasn't like surround sound, was it? No, that's Dolby. But I thought that it was used specifically for... Because Industrial Light and Magic did special effects. I thought THX was sound. Unless it's just the... The old... 
SFX. More mushroom. Because I remember it was C CBS, Fox, THX and stuff were always on the sides of the old 80s boxes that we have. Anti-gravity goat. <laughs> the glowy goat. But don't care. Yep, snip. A ring. Oh. One half with some sort of symbol. <laughs> that that was weird. THX LTD is an audio company owned by a audio. I was right. Company Razor Incorporated, headquartered in San Francisco, California, and founded in 1983 by George Lucas. I was right about it being audio related because I remember there's THX Dolby, Dolby. I think that's what it's called. A couple other things. Neat. No. Oh, That's so him. father's trying to brave the mountain. It's like it's only the father at this point. Mm-hmm. Oh. Why would I become a wombat in this situation? Unless oh. there's something off to the side. Oh, mushroom. Yeah. Anything under there? Nope. Mm, nope. Also, I don't know. I just, I am very much gunning for the end here. Because there's a turkey leg in the fridge with my name on it. <laughs> Dry as it is, I didn't adjust the recipe for two legs, because I was originally making the recipe for four. We have two more. I can attempt to make a juicy batch another time. Maybe the spirits are father, not the emperor. Just because we've moved away from hearing these things. But uh, I don't know. The voice. I don't know. Sound you sound like a young man, though. Yeah. That was kind of neat. Uh-oh. Yeah, these are interesting trees. They've been blustered by the wind so much that they've permanently grown in one direction. They look almost Susian. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Aha. I need water. Am I going to have to request that you sit somewhere else? Why? Why? Did you? No. Okay. I swear I've heard you a couple nope. times. Wanders flatulence sometimes vibrates the the couch. Nope. Not today. <laughs> Not today. Nope. Haven't farted. Looks like a symbol amulet, but it's not Yanren and looks really old. Ah, the mega fart. <laughs> I mean, it's not that mega farty. Oh, he. Occasionally he has those, though. Yeah. I mean, it's whatever you feed me. Oh. Look, you load the gun. Freaking goat is way too mighty. Mm hmm. Makes no feasible sense. But I'm okay with it. Is there something back that other way? Oh. Yeah, progress. Second ring. Oh, that's the other half. Second half of the symbol. I like it how it's first on the list, though, for some reason. 
Mm hmm. Out of my way, other goat. Whoops. What? No. Anti grav goat does not care. What do you mean there's no way to go that way? Doesn't matter. Anti grav goat will find a way. the question of how like how Kalani and her father managed to climb up this unless there were staircases and things before probably oh looks oh. like you'll have to get rid of the goat no I'm the wombat goat lord fine roll this is a fair trade-off And then immediate denial. Because the wombat can't climb that. It just ain't in its nature. Why the heck did these people build their civilization up here? Oh, what's that back there? That was that's the goat. No, that's Oh the goat is glowing through yeah. the hole. Yeah, you know, you're right. I expected something there, but no. no. It's okay. And here's the point where... Oh! Yep. It. It's like... Oh, yeah. It's like Journey all over again. Mm-hmm. Where you're fighting against the wind. And there's a, a goal in the distance, but you need to reach it. And we all froze to death. Temple of the Sun, Chapter 6. Is there anything that can traipse through the snow more swiftly than you? Uh, Goat Lord. Oh. Me again, I guess. Oh. Oh, it's... I see, it's... The snow slows us down considerably. So if you get behind the stone... Either that or it's the wind. Mm-hmm. There you go. Get to that one. Thing is barely animating. Look at those back legs. Mm -hmm. Bleep, 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 bleep. Yeah, these look like they were once part of the walls. They have lines across them. Bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> they really didn't bother with the uh, going slow animation. They just kind of did whatever. <laughs> more of this mushroom. That wouldn't grow there. And anything around the corner? No? No. Yeah. Oh, look, you can make it, though. Uh... Really? I don't... What oh, is this place? Oh, you extremely little face. It's called the long way around. I appreciate the snow is deforming. It's not nearly as pretty as some other games, but that's okay. Right now you look like Pikachu Wolf. How so? With a zigzag in the tail. Oh, you're right. What the heck? <laughs> I get an agility here. So thank you, White Wolf, for the 100 bits. This is not a white wolf. It's got like, it's like a Dalmatian wolf. Or maybe it's just Spot or Stripe or I don't know. But yeah, I don't know why the wind's messing with the tail here. <laughs> like I said, I don't think they really QA'd this animation. Oh, what's in there? This? Oh, no, 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 never mind. That's rocks yeah. going out into nothing. That is the void. This is the end of the world. 
Were we even supposed to get back here? No. It was all for naught. Shoot. I think I'm on the back side of the structure I'm supposed to be in. <laughs> there it is. That's the entrance. Okay, good. We were close. Just off the beaten path, just a smidge. 